Well, if you are not sick, chances are you know someone who is. Doctors say the holidays took a toll on immune systems. WGNO's Jordan Lippincott has the story. Um, about end of November um, until now, we are seeing a lot of rise in our sick patients. Dr. Lauren Hernandez, owner and pediatrician at Sprout Pediatrics, says she and her staff are seeing about 75 patients daily treating kids for various respiratory illnesses. And although compared to last year, the staff has seen fewer cases of COVID-19, Hernandez says they have been consistently busy tending to kids with the common cold. Last year you thought, okay, well this is a one-time thing, it's COVID, that's going to go away or that's going to decrease. But this year we were just as busy, if not more busy, but right, it wasn't COVID, it was flu, and then it was the common cold that snuck through. Adults aren't catching a break either. Dr. Roland Waguspak, the medical director of the emergency department at East Jefferson General Hospital, says his ER is seeing more patients compared to last year. It's a it's a real hodgepodge uh, of of patients. We, we are seeing, um, yeah. We'll, we'll, one room will have uh, COVID. The next room will have influenza. The next will have some other respiratory virus. Waggis Pack predicts his staff will start to see fewer people in the ER come spring once cold and flu season is over. But if you are seeking medical attention, doctors are asking for your patience. We really want to see every patient as quickly as we can. We also have a, a duty to see patients um, in, really in order of their acuity. Jordan Lippincott, WGNO News.